Hi, this is my Simple Dory setup for March 2019, and the Coco Dizzy kit was called Fresh Cut, which featured watercolored floral uh, arrangements. And I'm housing this in what I typically use for a standard uh, size traveler's notebook, and this is my Sojourner holiday purple leather cover and this is a folio and I just really love a distressed look and I thought that this this is just gorgeous I have several different pieces in this leather and it's my favorite favorite leather by Sojourner and like I said this is a oh, everything's falling apart this is a folio so there's no string it's actually held uh, just by slipping the cover under. You can do this either by putting both of the uh, cover pieces under the uh, flaps, or you can put uh, more than one in. Um, this isn't gonna hold like a ton of notebooks. Uh, these Sojourner notebooks tend to be rather slim cut, and I, I just love how this looks. It's my favorite, it's very soft leather, and I do, on here have some uh, flowers. I don't always go for flowers. It's not necessarily my thing, but um, in this case, these are by Katie Jo Collections off of Etsy. And I do, my, my favorite flowers are poppies and daffodils and irises. And so I have the poppy and the iris on here. And I, I just think it's a really cute look. It kind of brightens up a distressed look, so to speak. So this is the March Simple Dory. And I just love the Simple Dory setup. It is perfect for me because it's not dated. I can do whatever I want to with it. If I want to stretch it out for more than one month, I can. Um, if I want to use it for a travel journal, if I want to use it for a personal journal, if I want to use it as a dated calendar journal, I can do that. If I just want to use it for memory keeping, I can do that. And what I did was I, I'm trying to use up some pieces that I have from various different places, uh, past Coco Daisy kits. And I think this was from, I think this was from Chic Sparrow at one point in time. And March, you know, this is a floral thing with a penguin on it, but it was just so cold at the beginning of March, especially, and even through the end of March, that the penguin was appropriate. So what I have, it, in my typical fashion, I started out with uh, journaling, as I usually do. And I here I've used some, uh, this was a free printable, I believe, from Coco Daisy, and I think this was from October of 2017. And this is one of the die cuts uh, from the March 2019 Fresh Cut Planner Kit. Um, I ordered the Simple Dory Notebook because the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit, which the Simple Dory is part of, was sold out. It has been, it had been selling out rather quickly and I didn't jump on it quick enough. And so now I have a subscription to make sure that I am able to get it right away. But so what I did was I ordered the Simple Dory insert and then I ordered a planner kit so that I could have some uh, pieces that would go, that would coordinate with the Simple Dory. I just love uh, how it's designed with the white space, which you can see that I oftentimes love to just fill up with writing. Sometimes I like to doodle, uh, which I did quite a bit in on here, just some little flourishes. We had a lot of snow in March. We still had probably over a foot on the ground, um, even through the uh, mid-March, until it started melting. I signed up for a Tai Chi class early this year and I just really love it. It's called Tai Chi fin Fundamentals and I'm really enjoying it and so I'm going to continue on with that. And I love this. These were from the free printables, Hello Spring. I made my tab says spring, but my little penguin says, where is spring? 
And here I have a Vespa sticker as uh, I said in uh, some of my earlier uh, videos, I ride a Vespa Sprint, which is a 150cc, and I'm anxious to get it out of the garage, but right now that's just not going to happen. I'm also anxious to rid myself of my winter jacket, and so far that has not happened. March 16th, Saturday, a busy day with not a lot accomplished. So that's kind of summed up how my spring has gone. It's been very busy. I did take a workshop at the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts and I really enjoyed it. It's a really cool place if you get a chance to go there if you're in the Wisconsin area. And this was a hand stitching class which I do sewing and quilting, uh, not a lot of hand work. So this was an interesting class to take. So I will flip up here and I have some uh, Japanese thread that I was using and a little picture of my beautiful little sojourner there. You can tell I really like it. This was a change for me. I decided to let there be some white space. I know, unusual, huh? I got out a Coco Daisy stamp that I have that I really have enjoyed using, Happiness Is, and then you can fill in the blank, and I wrote pens. These are pen gem pens, and I think this was uh, something that I had kicking around that I'm, you know, I'm trying to use up these things that I've been hoarding for so long. I mean, if, if you're, why hoard them? Use them, enjoy them. So this was from pen gems, from an order that I placed with them, and look at all the beautiful pens. And this was from one of the past printables. These again are the printable downloads for subscribers. I have a Cricut maker and bought some sticker paper and have been doing some printing and cutting and I really enjoy that. It was a full moon so I kind of went with that theme. This is from a past kit. And, okay, this one was fun because I used some of the Coco Daisy, this is from last year, paper from last year. We are what we choose, what we choose, the people we let stay, and the things that we keep. And I used tabs, and here I have written what we choose. On this one I have winter because even though it's supposed to be spring, it felt more like winter. And you can really tell I love this uh, traveler's notebook cover from Sojourner, because I have, uh, I this is actually a different one from the one that I'm showing you. This is my B6 Slim that I keep a Jogun Techo in, and it says add to the list. And then I had to give my dog a bath, so I have spring cleaning and my cat, uh, who is anxiously trying to get at my yogurt while I'm having breakfast in the morning. And it says, give me a break. And then here I have an Irish blessing. I love this layout, I just do. This is a photo that was on the feed of my favorite band. And this is the the guitar from my favorite band. I love listening to loud rock music. Um, I grew up as a punk rocker, and so this is my happy place. It's my jam. I, If you're wondering where my name Anarch One Designs comes from, Anarch One is a nod to the whole punk rock movement and I had had a lot of influence on me growing up, and I love to design things, so Anarch One Designs. And I just love this, it's from History of Punk that I follow on Instagram, and it says, aren't you guys a little too old to be listening to a punk rock band? And it, it shows them walking in with their walkers, and it says, we are the band. So yeah, and my happy little flowers, because they're listening to loud music. This is a view out of my art studio, actually, at my house. And this is only a few of the deer in my yard. I have deer all the time. We have fox, we have coyotes, we have deer, we have owls, you name it. Even though I live in the city, 
we have a lot of animals <laughs> roaming around. And this is my dog. It says Fearless. Um, he's actually waiting for my husband. He looks very uh, attentive there. Um, however, if he sees a deer, he really could care less. Uh, he very rarely barks at them. Even if they're standing right outside the window, he doesn't care. And this was from the pen and ink January kit. This was actually a notepad. And I just thought it went really well with this layout. So I'm kind of experimenting that I don't need to um, journal a lot in it uh, to enjoy it. And I, I really like this. And here's another example where this was actually from one of the um, items, the packaging that came with Coco Daisy. What's really nice is, is they're so beautiful. The packaging is so beautiful that you're able to use that. So I just cut this out as if it looked like a little pocket. This is actually a mixed media painting that I'm doing. This is a uh, self-portrait. I'm doing the Life Book 2019 with Tamara Laporte and I'm really enjoying it. They are weekly, it's a weekly online workshop. And this says personal day because I really needed some time to just do something creative on my own. And these were stickers from the kit, planner, declutter, organize, spring, and March goals. That's kind of basically it, kind of where my life is going. Here, this is a photograph that I took. My husband was driving and we were at the end of a road where he had to go left or right. And this was the view facing forward. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It kind of sums it up. You know, you've got kind of the dead of winter with looking towards spring. And um, so I've got Rest and Recharge. This is a sticker from the kit and a die cut from the March kit. And um, I've got much needed time off, free time. And then I just love the little paint brushes. It was so perfect because it just sums up kind of where, where I was at at this time a couple weeks ago. This is some Japanese paper that I had gotten in a subscription box. And I have a little felt flower embellishment here that I, again, I have all these things. I'm trying to use them up. Or not trying, I am using them up. <laughs> This is a uh, pocket uh, insert from a previous Coco Daisy, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. And it says, I may not be perfect, but I am always myself. And then I've got on here, me time. Here I've got animal life. So here's my dog, here's my cat. And then I've got, this is just a card that comes along and it's so beautiful. I mean, you can cut this up, uh, you could frame it. I just like to put it in here for inspiration. It says, there is nothing in nature that blooms all year long, so don't expect yourself to do so either, anonymous. And then this is from a previous kid. It says, I do not care. <laughs> and then here, this is just something that I, I wrote as an inspiration to myself. It says, what makes a day perfect? Is it when everything goes as you hoped or expected? When nothing goes wrong? If so, then no day should be perfect. Look for the positive in the challenge. Things don't always turn out as you expected. Sometimes they're even better. Remember that more isn't better. Enough is just right. Learn to use what you have, and you will not be constantly seeking what you don't already have. There is beauty in joy and gratitude. Appreciate simplicity. Cherish each day as if it were your last. Sunshine, laughter, and friendship can make all of the difference in the world. And then busy hands, happy mind. Here I have, can you tell, I love, I love, I love these folio covers from Sojourner. This is uh, my planner cover for my Joe Bontacho. I've changed it into a different cover. And then I'm using the purple uh, holiday leather for a studio journal that I jot down art ideas. These were the post-it notes from the March uh, Coco Daisy kit and I saw on the uh, blog, the Coco Daisy blog, that one of the designers was just using it to uh, to kind of bullet point 
uh, things going on in your life. And I, I just thought this was really cute. Uh, so I have save, use what I have, be grateful, enjoy life, do it now. That's my to-do list. And then I have some of the things I'm looking forward to coming up soon. And then this I have, I'm going to write some things of a more personal nature on there. And that's the end. I hope that you really enjoyed that. Um, but that was a flip through of my March 2019 Simple Dory. And thank you for watching.